Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. In this video, we are looking at the MLB and NBA prize picks plays for the early slate. Some of these early games uh, have a couple from NBA and then uh, we have four from baseball that we're going to look at today. So look at some total bases, look at some points overs in basketball and we'll see what happens today. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate sure the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, first prop that we are looking at is... Give you the NBA ones. Um, Pascal Siakam at just 22 and a half points. You know, they've gotten some contributions recently from Ananobi and from Scotty Barnes. But in this type of matchup against the Hornets, you know, the, the Raptors are going to put up so much points. Houston, or Charlotte is one of the worst defenses in the NBA. You know, they uh, have had nothing to play for for a while. And their defense just continues to get worse. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Raptors put up North of 120 against them, like most teams have been. If you look at how uh, Pascal Siakam you know, has done in this type of matchup, it just seems low when you got people going up against Charlotte. Usually their points, you'll probably see them a couple points higher, but uh, Siakam's, his, his number is a little lower than what it's been in some other matchups. Uh, most recent game against them, they faced them twice in span of like three days and January, Siakam at 35 points, 28 points. Uh, he missed it last February against them. Uh, that game he just played 27 minutes, but just had 8 points. And he had 24 and 24 in the previous one. So, 4 out of his last 5 games, he's cleared 24 points. One game he cleared 30. Just seems low. It's probably going to get bumped. And then another over that I like is um, Shannon Sharp, who just has been the Blazers' lone playmaker and scorer. With all of these guys sitting out there, a little short-handed, obviously with the playing time. If you look at their roster, they basically have like ten guys that could play, but you probably see like eight or nine get decent minutes. And you know, in starting lineup of like May, Sharp, Thibel, Watford, Eubanks. There's not many guys that want to take a lot of shots. So Sharp has been free to fire away in all of these matchups, which has led him to put up consistently in the 20s recently since they've just been um, kind of not having any of their starters play. If you look at some of these, um, the shot attempts for him and the minutes, they've just been through the roof. He's been seeing 36 minutes, uh, I believe 36 minutes. He played 44 minutes against uh, Sacramento, 34, 35, 38, 39 recently. So he's getting the minutes. And the shot attempts, they're just the highest on the team. Nobody's even coming close to shooting as much as he does. Last game against the Kings, he shot the ball. Let's pull up the stats here. So last game, he shot 20 times. The closest guy was 12 off the bench, which was Jabari Walker. And then in the other game where they got absolutely demolished, um, even they lost by 40, and he still got 45 minutes. That game, he had 30 points. And in this one, he also just took up most of the volume shooting. He shot 27 times, and the next closest guy shot 17. So, probably going to get... There's a chance he shoots like 24 times. So, if he can get at least one point per shot attempt, you'll be happy. So, those are the two NBA ones I like right now. Uh, for baseball, there's... We got some good... Prop, especially with a lot of these teams going into like their third pitcher, start starting pitcher. Uh, you have some poor arms on the mound. You got a bunch of lefties facing off against some right-handed heavy teams, and uh, some young lefties. Some guys making their season day or every like season debut. Some guys making their MLB debut. Uh, so could see some rust there. But looking at total bases and looking at some hitter fantasy score, but Adam Duvall. Uh, had him on DraftKings and Fandle yesterday, so that led to a huge day. He put up two bombs, crushed the slate in scoring, uh, and he's going up against uh, another, just another poor pitcher, and it's another great ballpark um, in Boston, in Fenway Park, just always been hitter-friendly, and Duval has just so much power, so you know he's always a beast against left-handed pitching. Uh, that's what his... He's known for. And Cole Irvin coming over from Oakland. He, just, he got it, kind of got the advantage of playing in that big ballpark last year. Uh, he was a former Philly as well. Uh, when he was with the Phillies, he struggled a bit. That's why they shipped him to Oakland. And 
Uh, he, there he had some success, but probably should come back down to earth playing in Camden Yards and playing in like a lot of uh, games in Fenway and in Yankee Stadium. So if you look at Duvall's stats against left-handed pitching, it's just been um, what he kn known for when he was with the Braves. He typically kind of got the platoon against lefties only. So uh, for his career against lefties, the power is just much higher. His batting average career-wise is pretty similar, but strikeouts are a little bit lower, a few percentage points lower, and the ISO is 238. And the WRC Plus is over 100. And we'll look at last season specifically. So last season, with the Braves, he had you know, 27 points higher batting average against lefties. He gets the same amount of home runs and about 150 less at-bats. So that transitioned to a 329 ISO. Just so much power for him against lefties. And Cole Irvin's not a big strikeout guy either. So puts the ball in play. Chance it goes a long way. And then same thing with Justin Turner coming over from the Dodgers. He's also notable against lefties. Look at his stats um, as well. If you want to look at the splits as a fan graphs, it's good to take a look at batting splits. You can take a look at you know historical numbers. If you want to look at individual pitch type, you can go to Roto Grinders Plate IQ and kind of compare what that pitcher typically throws to how that hitter hits against that pitch. Uh, so far, Justin Turner has had. Two for two against lefties, uh, 2022, 275, pretty similar numbers. Look back at 2021, you know, a little bit lower average, but, you know, you got 10 bombs and 159 at-bats. Look at career numbers, average is a little bit lower. Look at the advanced stats, ISO is a little bit higher. It's not as big of a drastic split, but... Lefty righties are always going to have a little bit of an advantage for the most part. You know, there's some hitters that are that don't fit that mold, but Turner and Duvall, I like them against uh, a pitcher that doesn't strike people out much. And then going over to the hitter fantasy score, you probably expect this one to bump. You know, Austin Riley, they're also going up against a lefty. When you have Olsen, a lefty lefty matchup at a point higher, you have du um, Ronald Acuna Jr., who we know does well against lefties, but he's a point and a half higher. Riley's probably going to get bumped. He's also. A guy that just has so much power. He's good against both sides of the plate. I'd be shocked if he doesn't have good numbers against lefties, if not a little bit better numbers than righties. So this year, you know, nothing to note of. Couple of at bats. Look at last year. Three twenty nine against lefties. Eleven home runs. Absolute monster numbers there. 2021, also pretty good numbers. Not as much power, but his career 290, so 23 points higher batting average and way higher slugging, way higher ISO, way higher WRC+. plus. Yeah, that one will probably get moved. So I love Riley. And then last guy is Randy Rosarena, another, pitch, another guy that's going to be going up against a lefty. So we got a lot of right-handed power bats against left handed pitching in pretty decent parks except for Randy's park but he's still you know coming off of that world baseball classic where he was just lights out uh, he's kind of riding into the season already with some momentum and just looking at his splits against lefties you just you probably expect him to have great numbers and expect him to do some damage 317 last year six home runs in just 120 at bats, 2021 also batted over 300, 10 home runs career wise. You got like a, almost a 60 point higher batting average, got almost similar amount of home runs in way less at bats. ISO is way higher, strikeouts are lower, WRC plus is over 160. So, yeah, I definitely like a over eight fantasy on Randy uh, Rosarena. So, those are the plays I'm looking at today. You know, every game is between 1 and 130 except for uh, Sharp, so you could take him out if you wanted to and, and see how it does and then put him in a separate entry. But Siakam over 22.5 points, Sharp over 23.5 points, Duval over 1.5 total bases, Turner over 1.5 bases, and the two fantasy scores over in Riley and Randy Rosarena. Best of luck 
this hits, I might be back later with another one. But thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.